Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I originally didn't plan to do this, but after seeing Ant Man and the Wasp, I decided to do a spoiler video on this movie. So if you have not seen Ant Man and the Wasp, now is the time to turn away. Go watch the movie, come back, or just watch my non spoiler review that I did. So this movie. I was surprised. I did not think it would be that much secretive when it concerns the plot, when it concerns certain things that happen in this movie. But as I was watching it, I thought, wow, a lot of this wasn't in the trailer. Even the very first scene showing Michael Douglas and his wife, young versions of them, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, and they de-aged both of them. That's the same way how the first Ant-Man movie started with Michael Douglas D.H. I rewatched that right before watching the second movie so the technology still was great then and still great now. I swear at least five years we'll be at a point where we can do a whole movie with a young version of Michael Douglas or Michelle Pfeiffer or anyone that you want. That's how good this looked, even when they de-aged Lawrence Fishburne. Holy crap, it looked like Lawrence Fishburne from Boys in the Hood. <laughs> he was so young. I want to talk about Michelle Pfeiffer as Janet Van Dyne. I didn't talk about her in my original review. I know some people probably knew she was in the movie, but they didn't show her in the trailers. They didn't really talk a whole lot about them even trying to go in the quantum realm to try to find her in the trailers. Didn't seem like that's what they were promoting. She's on the poster, so there's a hint for people, but I didn't want to spoil it or potentially ruin that for some people. I like that a lot of Hope and and Hank's uh, journey and, and what they wanted to do in this film was about getting her back, finding her. I liked Michelle Pfeiffer in the film. I thought she looked great. She didn't even have to be de-aged. That's how good she looked. And let's talk about the villain. The villain is Ghost, aka Ava, who is played by Hannah John Kamen. Kamen? And I like this villain a lot. I, you know, sure her parents died in a freak accident, so um, you know, you've heard that before, but I was more so connected to the fact that this was one of Hank Pym's experimental procedures that malfunctioned and gave her these powers of being able to almost be a ghost herself, phase into things. It wasn't something she wanted and she's been dealing with it. She's been trying to control it and get rid of it. She wants a cure. Her backstory of being taken in by shield and being used as a weapon and being used to kill and do all of these things all because she wanted a cure. It makes you wonder how much of that was S.H.I.E.L.D. versus what was Hydra. The moment when she was so desperate to get the lab back, when she was so desperate to try to do whatever she had to do, she was going to go after Scott Lang's daughter until Lawrence Fishburne said, no, we won't cross that line. We won't do that. I forbid that. And she didn't do it. And so I love that these characters had a moral line. I love that it wasn't a cliche of, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go and kidnap his daughter. I mentioned Michael Pena and how funny he was. The scene that I loved the most with him, he had a lot of great scenes, but the truth serum scene with him was hilarious. It just, it was the back and forth on whether or not truth serum really exists. Them reusing that joke from the first movie of him telling the story and us flashing to see the characters he's talking about talking like him. It That never got old. For some reason them doing it again still made me laugh. And speaking of laughing, this isn't a spoiler but I want to mention Randall Park who plays Jimmy Woo, the detective who's constantly checking in on Paul Rudd to see if he's breaking his, his house arrest. I enjoyed that character. I thought he had some nice funny bits as well. But what I'm really here to talk about, spoiler fashion, let's jump right into it. The end of the movie seems like it's a happy ending. They get the mother back. Uh, they get to have their own new house and they're even helping Ghost with the cure and, and she turned for the good. Everything seems like it's going to be okay. Paul Rudd is off the house arrest, gets to see his daughter until 
you see that they're going back to the quantum realm so that they can collect more of that energy for her to sustain it. And then all of a sudden, while Paul Rudd's in there, he, he, the communication stops. And you cut back to see Hope, Hank Pym, and Janet Van Dyne. All three of them have been turned into dust from Thanos snapping his fingers at the end of Avengers Infinity War. I had a feeling, I did, I had a feeling that we would see a post credit scene that tied into Infinity War. So I wasn't necessarily surprised by it. I was more shocked at the way that it happened. The fact that Wasp, Hope was also a part of the evaporated people. I wasn't expecting that. I thought her and Ant-Man would play a big part of Avengers 4. I guess not. Also, if Paul Rudd, if Ant-Man is in the quantum realm and seemingly stuck there now, I guess he won't be in, in Avengers 4 either. How the hell is he going to come back? So that element was a surprise. That was like a holy crap. And it, it took a fun movie and in an instant, the crowd was in a hush. The crowd was like, oh, crap. And then the very, very last shot where you saw uh, the city and the TVs all had that whatever, the, the no signal on the TV. And that was very eerie. It's just it's like, wow, this is the world after the post snap. And then you get the funny bit of the ant playing the drums and it was a cute way to end the movie but still I loved the tie-in I loved how they wrapped things up they got you back in that feeling of holy crap that did happen it affects everything even this movie and I loved it let me know in the comments below spoiler talk here what did you think of Ant-Man and the Wasp what did you think of Evigan Lily as Hope what did you think of Michelle Pfeiffer what did you think of the villain Ghost what did you think of the post credit scene? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!